Okay, this is a short video about how to get Skyrim working again and with some of your SKSE mods. This is just going to be a short video. Um, so let's get on with it. What happened and why is some people Skyrim not working after they've come back to it for a while? The problem is that recently Bethesda launched or provided an update uh, which was 1.6.629 and then updated to 640.0.8. These updates here caused a lot of issues um, and removed compatibility with the older SK, SE and the plugins which depended on them. Um, a lot of people will be wanting to use this older version of Skyrim, 1.6.353, which did not provide problems. So what we need to do is get back to this old version. I think the most important thing to do first is to make sure that Skyrim stops updating itself. And the way to do this is to right click Skyrim in Steam, um, then click on Properties, then click on Updates and select Only Update This Game When I Launch It. Uh, which seems sounds kind of counterproductive, but um, that will stop it from updating itself. Okay, so now that you've done that, we need to find this file. It's all about this file, skyrimse.exe. It's all about this one. You need to locate this file uh, in your Windows installation. Now, I'm using Linux myself, and uh, most people won't be, um, but this is where my skyrimse.exe is. It's in Lysander.steam, Debian installation, Steam Apps Common, Skyrim Special Edition. Now, if you're using Windows, it's going to be in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps Common, Skyrim Special Edition. It's going to be there. And it's going to look like Skyrim SE. That's what it's going to look like. Now, what we want to do is we want to... Um, replace the updated Skyrim SE with the older version that worked. Now, how do we get the older version? If we go to this Reddit thread, you'll see a comment by this user, Contrabiscuits, and uh, it's got a lot of awards, this post, and rightly so. And what we need to do is get this older version of Skyrim SE.exe and replace the newer version with it so what we're going to do we go to this reddit thread i can put the link in the description right click this is in linux by the way but the process in windows will be very similar highlight the first liner here and then we just put this into our browser like this now it'll want us to open steam so we open steam and we go to Steam and we will find that it's opened a console window. Now what we need to do once we've done that is get the second line there, copy that and then we just paste that into there and we will wait for it to download. So this is the file that we want. Now we have to locate where that file is. Now, if you're in Windows, it's probably going to be here somewhere. Steam, Steam Apps, Content. And it will show you the location of where that new file is. Now, I'm going to do this on Ubuntu in Linux and copy the file over because the process is pretty much the same. Well, it is identical, but the screens, the file manager windows will look different. So I need to locate this newer file. Um, so first of all, what do we do? Where is it exactly? I need my console here. Uh, Steam Debian installation. So Steam Debian installation, we know it's there. And I think it said it was in Ubuntu 12.32 for me, and then Steam Apps, Content, and then it's the only file. So for me, it's in Depot 489.833. If you're using Windows, it's going to be very similar. It's going to be the only file in that folder. 
Now what we need to do is take this new file and replace the old Skyrim SE with it. So, now, this is my Skyrim Special Edition with the newly downloaded, um, sorry, with the new Skyrim SE DOS X which is causing problems. We want to delete that. Then we want to take the old, the, the old Skyrim SE which we just downloaded and we want to paste it into the Skyrim Special Edition window. Now, like I say, the process for that is very, 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 very similar indeed, regardless if you're using Linux or if you're using Windows. And if you're uh, using Windows, then this is the folder which Skyrim SE, the one that works, is in. You just copy it through to your Skyrim Special Edition folder. Now, once you've done that, Skyrim should work absolutely fine. You should just be able to hit um, play and it should launch for you with no problems after it's done its synchronizing whatnot. Now I'm using Linux here so there's going to be a few differences. It needs to process its Vulkan shaders. This is something that it only does briefly um, on each Skyrim launch but if it's the first time you've installed a, a Linux game this can take a bit longer this process but so therefore uh, here we go it's all correct it's launching I've got mod organizer here um, in Linux but normally if you don't have a mod organizer if you're using Windows you're just going to see the normal launcher window pop up that you're used to seeing and you should be able to run Skyrim from there so I hope that helps and uh, any questions just let me know.